When someone's really depressed or seriously depressed, it's pretty obvious. I mean, they're crying, they're sad, they, they may be saying they're suicidal. So that part's not really very tough. I think everybody kind of gets that. It's the people who are kind of mild to moderately depressed, it can be hard to tell. So there, important things to watch out for are like if people are more irritable than usual, that's kind of a common presentation of kind of a mild to moderate depression that is something you might not really think about. You might just chalk it up to like, you know, they had a bad day. But so if someone's kind of irritable on like, you know, going on weeks at a time, then you, you need to think about depression. Also, if they are complaining like trouble with sleep or um, unusual body upsets like stomach aches or something. So for people with mild to moderate depression, those are kind of be tips, you know, kind of uh, clues. Anxiety is a little more subtle to see. Often people don't look anxious on the outside. It has to be pretty bad often before you kind of get like outside manifestations, like they're just like having, you know, shaking or, or having a panic attack where they're saying like their heart's beating fast or whatever. So for people with more mild anxiety where they don't have like these outward physical manifestations, you know, things to, to be listening for or watching for is if like, they seem to be worrying a lot. So that's, that would be kind of a tip off that someone's kind of having some kind of mild to moderate anxiety. They're worried a lot about the future or sort of, you know, unrealistic or unnecessary worries about things. Again, these things aren't occurring in isolation. It's sort of like a package deal. Like they kind of have some irritability and are not sleeping so well and maybe they're eating more or less. Another important point of all this is that it's sort of affecting their level of function or quality of life. So some, you know, normal personality has a big range. And so for those people, if they're functioning well and it's not affecting the quality of life, then that's just their personality and that's okay. But if someone's having some of these, you know, warning signs or possible warning signs and their, you know, their quality of life isn't as good or they're not functioning as well, then that kind of adds up to something that might be worth looking into. It's really not worth have, you know, suffering in life and having a lousy life and lousy quality of life, you know, as opposed to coming to see some professional to get help. You know, depression, anxiety are just physical illnesses, just like diabetes. You come see a professional and we help you get better.